it's time for another episode of I Am Northwest Arkansas, the podcast covering the intersection of business, culture, entrepreneurship, and life in general here in the Ozarks. Whether you are considering a move to this area or trying to learn more about the place you call home, we've got something special for you. Here's our host, Randy Wilburn. Hey folks, and welcome back. I've got a special episode of the I Am Northwest Arkansas podcast for you. I'm your host, Randy Wilburn, and I'm excited today to be with some really good friends of mine, especially Missy Kincaid, who is part of the Arkansas Advocate for Children and Families. Missy Kincaid runs what I think is one of the greatest fundraising programs in the state of Arkansas, and that's called Soup Sunday. She manages that for Arkansas Advocate for Children and Families up here in the Northwest Arkansas region. They also do it down in uh, Little Rock, but uh, they have two versions of Soup Sunday. I think the Northwest Arkansas one is better, but both of them raise money for the program. It is, it is the singular most important fundraiser of the year for Arkansas Advocate for Children and Families to ensure that they're able to continue doing what they do on a regular basis down there in Little Rock at the state capitol. And so I want to welcome both Missy Kincaid with Arkansas Advocates, as well as Clint Schaff, who is the chairperson of the Soup Sunday event for this year, 2024. And the reason why this is important is because I was the chairperson last year. So he and I have got a little bit of a healthy dose of competition going to see who will raise. I've already raised my money in last year, and I don't know what the final number was, but it was a lot. But I'm hoping that certainly for the children and family's sake this year that Clint is able to eclipse my number because, again, it, it is all about children and families, and especially here in the natural state, we're always trying to look out for the least of these. And so without further ado, I'd like to welcome these two wonderful people to this bonus episode of the I Am Northwest Arkansas podcast. How are you guys doing? Doing great. Doing great, Randy. And you, you've left big shoes to fill here, but I'll say if we do meet and or surpass last year's numbers, it's going to be because we built off of, and you're, you're stacking the deck because you're allowing us on the show. So we can credit any uh, subsequent donations from this episode being published to you. So you can, you can share in all the glory and excitement and, and, the, and the great works that we're doing for Arkansas families. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I mean, I wish, I mean, to me, the, the credit, I don't care about the credit. I really <laughs> care about uh, the, those that are impacted the most from this program. And, and sometimes we think that, you know, just from a singular bowl of soup, it can make the difference in the lives of families here in Arkansas. So I just encourage people to get involved. And I'm always amazed when people don't know about Soup Sunday. So that's why I was hoping that you guys would kind of give us kind of a full understanding of this program and, and, and what it entails. So Missy, because you work there in the office, I'm going to start with you and then I'm going to go on and have Clint bring up the rear and kind of walk us through what he's been focusing on this go around with the Soup Sunday event here in Northwest Arkansas. Great. Well, Randy, thanks so much for having us. As you know, Arkansas Advocates for Children and Families is a nonpartisan, nonprofit organization. And especially during this time, it's just really important that we put politics aside. We believe that kids' issues should not be political. And the work that we do is on both sides of the aisle. As you mentioned, we're based in Little Rock. And we do have a Northwest Arkansas office that opened 15 years ago with Laura Kellams as our director. And she just does a phenomenal job really advocating for all kids and families here in Northwest Arkansas. As you know, as much as this economy and this part of the state is booming and we have just so many wonderful qualities of life, the fact is a lot of kids are being left behind and a lot of families are. And so we are the voice at the Capitol on behalf of those kids and those low-income families um, trying to work to find strategic solutions that will be helpful in the long term we work with partners who do provide direct services, but we also do our work in the legislative arena. So those food banks that are feeding families every day are just critical to those family survival. But I'm proud to say we also work on the legislation, for example, that created the school breakfast program. And so we do our work in a little bit of a different way, but we think that those solutions make a tremendous impact for, for kids and families here. Yeah, I love that. And I mean, again, it's 
it's those ti- that tireless resolve, right, to try to get something done to make a difference in the lives of others. And you guys certainly practice that at Arkansas Advocate for Children and Families. And how long has the Soup Sunday event been in existence? That's a great question. This is our 23rd Soup Sunday in Northwest Arkansas. So we were actually having this event before we even had staff up here. I actually was a volunteer 21 years ago on the committee. So the event has been growing and growing and growing. And we are now at the Rogers Convention Center. We take the entire ballroom space and we have 20 plus chefs who are committed to bringing a unique soup to our event this year. We'll have about a thousand guests of all ages. One of my favorite things about this event, and I'll let Clint talk about it as well, is that it's a family friendly foodie event. So you're going to taste soups that aren't even on menus here by our greatest chefs. And you can bring your kids. We have a kid zone. We have lots of fun activities. And it's just a, a little bit different than your typical sit down chicken dinner. So throw your jeans on, bring your muffin tin because you're going to be offered so many cups of soup. It's easier to carry them with a muffin tin. And it's just a really fun, casual Sunday afternoon kind of kind of event. Absolutely. And then you've also assembled a who's who of judges for this event to actually judge the soup. Is that correct? That's right. We have Jacqueline House, who has been a great supporter of Soup Sunday, and she's coming back. We the have KNWA. KNWA. I never know which which of her many hats she's wearing in that capacity. We also have the Hangry Peddler, I believe is his line. Uh, Joseph yes. will be joining us. And we have a new judge this year, two new judges that we've secured, Kim Bryden with Curiate, a very interesting company that's growing here. It's a national organization, I believe, but she's uh, based here in Northwest Arkansas. And Clint, you tell us about our judge that you just secured. Yeah, yeah. So I host a local hip hop radio show and a couple of radio stations. So we brought in Bang, uh, aka Jeremiah Pickett, a Fayetteville based rapper from Texarkana, also grew up in North Little Rock. And so it'll be exciting to be, he's always a fun guy and brings a lot of energy to every party that he's a part of. Yeah, I love that. That's cool. So tell me, Clint, what has it been like for you being the chair this year? Because both you and your and your wife are the chair. Yeah. Just like your wife Nicola and I were the chair last year. And and so I know it gives you some additional exposure, but but talk about what your experience has been like and what have you what newfound you know, respect and admiration have you found for the Arkansas Advocate for Children and Families in your involvement as the chair? Absolutely. Well, I will say if every organization and every colleague, if every organization was as solid as Arkansas Advocates and every colleague was as amazing as Missy, I would do this for every organization because we are having an amazing experience. The staff, Missy, Christine, several others have just been absolutely delightful to work with. We have a really great committee that's out there pressing the pavement to recruit restaurants, bakeries. That's a new part of the, of the event this year is uh, bakeries, auction items, silent auction items, as well as entertainment. And we're all out there. We meet regularly. So we have a lot of fun rapport. And it's a pretty good time, to be honest. It's, it's, it's hard work, but it's also a, a great time. And we're all, of course, it's for the most important of, of causes, which is to make sure that every kid in Arkansas has a chance to succeed. And they all have access yeah. to you know, quality preschool, affordable health care, and that their parents can provide a healthy meal and home environment. Absolutely. And that's so exciting. And my wife, Jessica, you mentioned she couldn't be on this call today. She's traveling for work. But, you know, we're, we're parents of a toddler. We have a two-year-old named Carter, and we have another child on the way. Breaking news. Okay. <laughs> yep, yep. And, um, and we're super excited about the resources we have in our family through our work and through the part of the town that we live in. But we think every Arkansan child and family should have that opportunity and some, right? So what a great thing to support an organization that complements so well all the giving individual charities, nonprofits, and faith-based organizations that exist all across the state. But it's really important that we have policies that make sure that everyone has a chance to lift up. And that's what uh, Arkansas Advocates is all about. That's what we're about. And it's just been such a pleasure to be with folks who share that passion and to, to bring whatever we can to bear to help raise important funds. Man, I love that. I mean, that's great. And I got to say, Missy took really good care of us during those meetings. Yeah. I mean, there was always food. There was always great offerings. But the thing that I got excited about, and I don't know how, if you have found this, is getting to talk to all these different chefs here in Northwest Arkansas that are going to be the suppliers of all this amazing soup. What has it been like for you in talking with these chefs to, to invite them to be a part of this wonderful event? 
I mean, it's been fantastic. The great news because of the, the groundwork laid by yourself and previous chairs. There's a lot of repeat folks, but so we're also focused on trying to bring in new folks. So we go to our favorite restaurants, chefs we already know and say, hey, we spent a lot of money here. Why don't you all come and support this vital cause? But also to new restaurants we haven't had the opportunity to go to. We say, hey, you're new. This is delicious. And would you like, to, you may or may not even make soup, but would you like to make soup with other chefs and, and engage in healthy competition that supports a wonderful cause? So that's been amazing. Just this last week, I had some visitors from the upper Midwest from Wisconsin here to visit. And we ate, uh, over the course of their visit, we ate at three restaurants that are participating in this year's Soup Sunday. And it was really fun to have a reason to talk to the chefs and to say, hey, by the way, I want to thank you for participating, uh, you know, what, you know, and all that, and then chop it up. It's just another way to kind of build relationships in local community and to do it with something that we all love, which is food. <laughs> yeah. And you know, and, I, and you, you've probably found this, the one thing that I have seen in going out and reaching out to individuals, whether it's for donations for the auction, because that's actually how they raise their money. It's not just selling tickets so that you can come in and have an endless supply of soup and bread, but it's also all of the wonderful items that are donated or in-kind donations or donated to Arkansas Advocate Children and Families that are then able to be auctioned off. And one of those things that you mentioned, which is brand new this year, is the bakery auction. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, Missy, you want to take that one? Sure. Well, we have not only amazing chefs in our restaurants, we have an abundance of bakeries. And I have really enjoyed bakeries for a number of years. And I, it dawned on me that we need to bring some of those amazing bakers into the event. And so this year, we currently have, I think, four, if not five, local bakeries who are committed to donating five different items to an auction. And so we will have five amazing, either that could be any combination of cakes, pies, cookies, cupcakes from different bakeries across the region. And the people who are at the event will be able to bid on those items and either take them back to their table, and enjoy them at the event or take them home with them if they'd like. But it was just a new way to enhance the food component, but also just to take advantage of exposing these amazing bakeries. We we have a number of bakeries participating. Our first one is a new bakery that hasn't even opened. They've been working on their opening. It's called Butterscotch Bakery and Bar. And they're right on the Bentonville Square. And they were the first ones to commit. And they're going to be going through their grand opening, but they're also going to be at Soup Sunday. We have Rymaline's Pies. We also have Spring Street Catering. They've got amazing pies. Their meringue just Oh my gosh, it's it's amazing. And then we have a new bakery that's new to me called Busy Bees. So those are the ones who I know are confirmed. We have a few more that are out there, but I'm excited. We we do have ice cream for everyone that attends Soup Sunday. Thank you to our ice cream man who brings Briar's ice cream treats. And so everybody will have access to soups and bread, as Clint mentioned, thanks to some of the bread bakers that we have in the region. But we just wanted to add a special sweet component. Yeah, may I add, Randy, when... I've been there the last two years, the year you co-chaired in the previous year. And one of my favorite parts was actually the, the ice cream. So they're in coolers off and kind of off to the side. And so I was sitting, sitting on the other side and I left, you know, the, the group I was with at our table, went over to get myself an ice cream at the end of the day. And they just ran into so many friendly faces, people I already knew, people I recognize from different things I'm involved with, and then new faces. And the walk took an hour just to get the ice cream because there were so many amazing people there. Like the soup is the reason to come. The, the kids is the reason to come. The families. And then there's some other uh, great reasons to come. But there's just so many. The people who are there are like the nicest people in the, in the world. And so what a great opportunity to, to just be in commu community with other folks who really want to make sure that every child has the opportunity to partake in the best life possible in Arkansas. Absolutely. And, you know, I'm glad you brought that up. So here is a pro tip for all of you that are listening that are going to come out to Soup Sunday. Just go through all the lines once, then go talk to everybody, because last year, there's a secret. I just want to let it out. I know as a chairperson, I had a lot to do, but I didn't get to try nearly as many soups as I would have liked to have tried. And so I think there is a little method to the madness there that if you follow, you will certainly ensure, if nothing else, that you get to imbibe upon all of the wonderful soups that are there. And I mean, there are just so many fabulous chefs, even some James Beard nominated chefs that are participating in the Soup Sunday event. 
So this is not somebody at their home, although that's just nothing wrong with getting some fresh homemade soup from somebody. These are some of the top chefs in the country that are lending their culinary expertise to the Arkansas Advocate for Children and Families for Soup Sunday. You do not want to miss this. Am I right, guys? You're right. Yes. I mean, yeah, Chef Cooper and Chef Rios are two of those nominated chefs for Best Chef of the South. You literally can enjoy their soups, plus soups from (laughs) other restaurants on that par, and a large variety of soups for the price of maybe an entree at one of those restaurants. It's like that's such an amazing value. Like, what a great opportunity for philanthropy. We're doing good and you're getting a lot of value. Like, can't beat it. I'm so excited. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited too. I'm, I, I'm going to try to live my, uh, my whole chairperson experience vicariously through you this year. So I wish you nothing but continued success as you go out there and beat the pavement to raise money for such a great program. So listen, as, as we wind up, why don't we give everyone all of the particulars so they know where when, what time, what they should bring. You've already said the muffin tin. So everybody go out and get a muffin tin if you don't have one. The best muffin tins quietly are those ones that are there. It's got a structure outside of it. And then on the inside, the the muffin part is kind of soft. It's kind of, I forget what they call it, but my wife has them. And so they don't weigh as much, but they're easy to carry around and you can fit a lot of different of the little soup things in there. So why don't you give out some of the tips, Missy? Sure. Well, first of all, the event is Sunday, February 18th. It's at the Rogers Convention Center and it's from 4.30 to 6.30. And I want to mention that this year we are partnering with our friends at the Northwest Arkansas Food Bank. And we are inviting our guests to actually bring cans of soup. We know, again, there are hungry people here in Northwest Arkansas. And so we wanted to partner with folks. So um, really invite people to bring a can of soup or a case of soup if they'd like. And we'll have bins that the Northwest Arkansas Food Bank will be collecting and taking around to some of the folks that provide those meals to our neighbors. I'll also say we do have a vaccine clinic. If you haven't gotten your vaccines and you want to get your vaccines, uh, we think health is really important, quality health care. Bring your vaccine card and they'll be happy to take care. They have a, several different shots that they'll be offering in a private area. The League of Women Voters is going to be there to register people to vote. We know that that is an important part of the civic process. And then you're going to come in and, as Randy said, bring your muffin tin. If you forget your muffin tin, we do have drink carriers, but I think they only hold at most six, maybe just four. So if you don't have a muffin tin, don't worry, come anyway. We are fully sustainable. We have metal spoons. We serve in compostable cups. We partner with our friends at Food Loops, and they take all of our leftover soup away um, so that it's a a very environmentally friendly event. We have a lot of volunteers who help us. Many of the chefs like to come and actually serve the soup. So you get to talk to Chef Matt Cooper. You get to talk to Chef Raphael. So that's great. But we also have volunteers who help set up, who serve the soup, who bust the tables, help with the auction. So it is a There's a lot of people that make this happen. I want to shout out to Randy's family. He had all three of his boys, I think, working last year, pushing soups and cleaning up. And uh, it's it's really a great service opportunity. We do have some high school students who participate and get some of their service hours at the event, which is really important. We do have live music. We will have the Hokey Pokey. We have the Limbo Line. We've got dancers from Ozark Ballet Theater in their beautiful costumes and their tutus handing out the program. So it's a family-friendly event with some delicious soups, and most importantly, for for a cause that we think is really important. Clint, have I forgotten something? Well, I just want to add that if you're listening to this podcast right now, you know, slow down, take the next exit if you're in your car, and go to your browser and go to aradvocates.org slash events. That's the Arkansas Advocates for Children and Families website, the events tab at aradvocates.org, and get your tickets today. It starts uh, for little kids. It's absolutely free. For five and up, it's 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 a nominal ten dollar fee, and the adult tickets are forty five dollars. This is very reasonable for all that's being offered, and it, of course, it goes to the most interesting and, and important cause, which is uplifting all the kids and families in Arkansas. And so, make sure you get your tickets now. There's even sponsorship opportunities. So if you're rolling deep, you got a big family, or you want to bring your your company or whatever, like buy a table, buy a sponsorship. They're also pretty reasonably priced. And, uh, and join us in doing that. And we'd love to see you and celebrate that. So see you on February 18th. Yeah, from 4.30 to 6.30. So yes, sir. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, listen, Missy Kincaid, Clint Schaff, thank you guys so much for 
taking time to talk with us today about what I I think is one of the most special uh, fundraising events that we see here in Northwest Arkansas. Granted, there are many, and let's they're all important. And something that I had said to somebody else before we got on this call was simply that. Northwest Arkansas is a very giving place. It's an environment where people look to collaborate with each other. And the experiences that you will see at Soup Sunday is the epitome of that collaboration. And so I want to encourage everyone to come out, see Clint, meet his beautiful wife, see Missy, the rest of the Arkansas Advocate for Children and Families team, Laura Kellums. I mean, there's just so many reasons to take some time out on that Sunday afternoon the 18th of February from 4.30 to 6.30 at the Rogers Convention Center to enjoy some soup and make a difference in the lives of some of your fellow neighbors right here in Northwest Arkansas and beyond. Thank you, Randy. That's great. Thank you. I love that. So, well, guys, thank you guys so much for, for coming on the I Am Northwest Arkansas podcast. This has been a bonus episode of the podcast. We like to bring these to you from time to time just to talk about different cool things that are happening in Northwest Arkansas. And I can't think of a cooler thing to highlight and promote outside. I mean, Soup Sunday is where it's at. So I certainly hope you come out and enjoy it. And if you do come out, look for me, holler at me, say hello. I'd be be happy to to catch up with you and, and chat with you about Northwest Arkansas and about all the amazing soup that you're trying out. But that's all I have for you this week. Uh, we will see you back. Remember, our episodes come out every Monday, rain or shine. And you can also hear uh, a latest episode on KUAF on Ozarks at Large every Tuesday, both at noon and at 7 p.m. And I'm even told now that those episodes are also playing in Little Rock. So there's that. So we're, we're all over the place, but we're right here in Northwest Arkansas. I'm your host, Randy Wilburn, and we'll see you very soon. Peace. We hope you enjoyed this episode of I Am Northwest Arkansas. Check us out each and every week, available anywhere that great podcasts can be found. For show notes or more information on becoming a guest, visit IamNorthwestArkansas.com. We'll see you next week on I Am Northwest Arkansas.